Welcome to Bitch Predicts. I'm Dolly Grossman Hines, Senior Engagement Editor at Bitch Media. And I'm Yvette Zian, Senior Culture Editor at Bitch Media. And today we are going to be predicting, bitch predicting, the Oscars. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> you really think Christopher Plummer will win? I kind of think so. Christopher Plummer took over this part from Kevin Spacey, which is hilarious, and did it in like two weeks. Mm-hmm. And I kind of think that the industry is always like so impressed by themselves that I almost feel like they're going to be like, "What an astounding!" I mean, it is an astounding feat of acting, but I kind of feel like they're going to be like, "What an astounding feat of acting! Taking over a part in just two weeks. This is this is it. There's nothing better than this." This is true. The astounding part is that they try to stiff Michelle Williams on that money. That is the astounding part here, and. I could see it. I could see it happening. It would be a big F you to Kevin Spacey as he deserves. Right, exactly. It's what you deserve. Yeah. I could see it. But you think racist hell? (laughs) I think Sam Rockwell from uh, Three Boards Outside Racist Hell, who I call the racist hell in chief, is going to win. I just think they just really want to award this movie. And not to say that it's not a good movie. I think it's messaging and the way that it's framed could have been so much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, he's going to win. Oh, I agree that Laurie Metcalf should win. I think Lady Bird is just, it's a flawless movie. It's so good. But Tiffany Haddish not being nominated, or how she says Tiffany Haddish, it just bothers me so much because Girls Trip is so significant just commercially. It was critically acclaimed. And for them not to receive a single nomination after make a, making a hundred million dollar picture is just appalling to me. So the fact that she was snubbed, this is my justice for Tiffany Haddish moment. (laughs) Justice for Tiffany Haddish. But I think she's going to have so many more opportunities because she has so many other projects coming up. Yeah. And there better be a girl's trip too. It's difficult to compete with Daniel Day-Lewis. He was going to be my choice as well. But maybe this is the year they decide differently. I would love to see an award for Call Me By Your Name. That would be such a, like a star turn, because yes. Timothy Chalamet is like a teenager. 20, 20, 20 Practically a teenager. <laughs> um, but yeah, Daniel Kaluuya should definitely win for Get Out, wow. because so much of that movie after the first half, is just his emotional expressions on his face. Like he's acting via facial expression. Yeah. Because he's hypnotized through a teacup, we know this. Um, <laughs> So I just think that, first of all, the fact that he got nominated, I was really glad that that happened. But just that alone earned him the Oscar, but we'll see. There's just like, every time I see Get Out, there are just like so many new layers of nuance in every single performance. Um, but of course it's Daniel Kalu- Kalu- oh my God, delay. Kaluuya. I hope we're saying it right, sorry <laughs> sir. I've been trying to say Daniel Kaluuya, but that's hard for me, yeah, so I don't <laughs> But especially his performance, which carried the whole thing. And I recently saw the episode of Black Mirror that he's in, which really proved mm. to me that like he knows horror and how yeah. to uh, how to convey like despair and fear excellently. Absolutely, he should win. But Academy, get it right. Which Daniel will it be? Yes. Interesting, interesting. I do think Frances McDormand is gonna win yeah, because me too. for throughout all of the award ceremonies, she's won for this role. Yep. But I just wish I Tanya got more love. I think it was such it was so well done. Um, and I think that Margot Robbie killed the role. And I just wish the movie overall was getting more recognition. Yeah, I was surprised by how it sort of seemed to um, like sort of fizzle out from the coverage of movies this fall. Yeah. Um, I also think Frances McDormand is going to win because she won for that role at the Golden Globes. Yes. And I think that, you know, there's so much to think about in terms of like what goes through Oscar voters' minds. And I think like in politically charged moments, they try to sort of pick kind of like, I don't, this is the wrong thing to say, like sort of a performance that nods to the political moment, but isn't doesn't actually shift the system or yeah so yeah so I see it so I see because of like this me too moment this time's up moment this award going to Francis McDermott 
and I just loved Lady Bird so much. Yeah. And there's a part of me that's like, should, nah, why should I be ageist? I think Saoirse Ronan killed it in that part. Yeah. And she's just like so alive and awake on screen. It's just like, you can see her energy like reflected in everything she does in that movie. If Lady Bird wins, I would not be upset at all. If Lady Bird wins everything at the Oscars, I wouldn't be upset. It's yeah. just such a good movie and it speaks to so many uh, relationships between mothers and daughters and like kind of that fraught tension between a mother and her daughter who's coming into her own. It just captures it flawlessly. Mm. <laughs> Nailed it. Either or I would not be mad. Either or, I just, The Shape of Water has kind of, although it's been nominated quite a bit and has won quite a bit, it's still flying under the radar to me. And this would be the moment that you can acknowledge this amazing movie. Like why wouldn't the Academy award him best director? Yeah, Guillermo del Toro has had a long career. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he was making movies in Spanish before he was making movies in English in the United States. And I just find his work so immersive. Like it's a whole new world, or it's like it's our world, but seen through his eyes. And just like, I think about the colors in The Shape of yeah. Water. I just, I'm yeah, I'm a big fan of his work, but I'm an even bigger, well, I don't know if that's true, if I'm an even bigger fan of Get Out. But Get Out was just revolutionary. It like, was. Get Out was like no movie before. And for this to come out from a first time director, it's incredible. With so many nuances to it. Every time, as you said, every time I watch it, I see something new. Mm -hmm. Like, whoa, I didn't realize Every that. time. Every single time, even now. So, either of these directors will be fine with me. Anybody else? Save it. <laughs> <laughs> Has to be one or the other. I have this sneaking suspicion, because it happened with 12 Years a Slave, that they're going to shut out, get out everywhere else, mm. and then award them best picture. Which never makes sense to me because the people who create the movie are how you get to a best picture, but mm -hmm. I just have that, that inkling. Think about Moonlight mm -hmm. and how little Moonlight won. It won a few awards, but not, well, best supporting actor, but like to get to the best picture, which was a whole mix up, there are so many yeah. movies like that. <laughs> there are so many movies like that. So I, I honestly think that Get Out, if it wins nothing else, will win Best Picture. But if it wins in other categories, they're not gonna win this. I'm heartened that it was nominated so heavily because it being nominated as a comedy slash musical. What a mess. I know, it was just like ridiculous. And so like I, I'm optimistic by how seriously it seems like the Oscars is taking that movie with all of its nominations. Um, and also, we both really loved Lady Bird. So yes. I feel like I'm, I am more want Get Out, but also, I would be happy with Lady Bird. Absolutely. Do you think three billboards outside of Racist Hell is actually going to win though? I don't know. What if I that's think. their like try at a crash moment is like actually mm -hmm. three billboards outside of Racist Hell? <laughs> because it's so innovative. Pushes the system. No. That's not. true. I feel like Hollywood loves movies about pushing the system. Mm -hmm. Taking down Get the out. system. Yeah, speaking of taking down the system, let's get, get out. out. <laughs> get out has to win. So we'll see. Are you excited about the Oscars? I'm pretty excited. I'm excited. Except too. for Jimmy Kimmel. Wah, wah. Oscars do better next year.